You ready? Mm hmm. <laughs> but, mm hmm. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Portia, if you guys do not know. And today I have my best friend, Jalisa, with me today. And today we're about to do a food mukbang. I really can't tell you it's not seafood. We have it, but it's not based around that. So at this point, I'll insert a clip of everything that we have. But then I'm going to tell you we have Philly cheesesteak fries, crystals, shrimp. What's this? Funnel cake fries. Funnel cake fries, and we have some crab legs, and that's pretty much it, right? Mm -hmm. So we are about to go ahead and tear this food up, and today our topic of discussion will be how we met, and then we'll talk about some other stuff that come to Crazy mind. Stuff. So here we go, guys. All right. What you want to start with? I don't want this crystal chip first. <clears throat> Y'all, these Philly cheese fries look so good. So, I'm gonna go ahead and taste that first because I've never had any, and Jalisa said they were bomb. Mm -hmm. If you watched my video before this, you will see the place that it's called. And we are located in, um, was that in Hinesville? Mm -hmm. That place was located in Hinesville. Mm. <laughs> Crystals need to bring back the spicy chicken. Mm. Oh y'all, we're gonna talk about, well first of all, I'm gonna put this in a drink, so we got some cranberry ginger ale, and then we also got some blueberry ginger ale, cause Jaleesa said that one is really good, I never had it, but it looks really, really good. It's so bad. <clears throat> I know y'all mentioned like I'm a little bit distracted, but my dog in heat, and I'm just trying to make sure she on her best behavior. Yeah, the dog's outside, so we are trying to wash them and eat and film this video. Yeah. But, <clears throat> me and Portia, we've been friends going on eight, eight years, years now. Mm -hmm. And we met at Fort Jackson. We was both stationed there. We was both E4s. So we met them. And I was pregnant. It was pregnant when you got there? No, 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 no. Not when I first got there. Mm -hmm. I was pregnant when we came friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I had seen her around the unit and stuff. But you know, she was known as the mean girl. I was not. She was known as the mean girl. No, she wasn't. She was known as the pretty girl who knew what she was doing and stuff like that. So everybody else was just like, they would either talk to her just for her pop popularity or they didn't talk to her and they labeled her as a mean girl. And I was at another clinic and I was doing hygiene work and I was pregnant, so I didn't really have much interaction with the soldier, any of the soldiers. So, we met at a JEC meeting. And what that stand for? Junior Enlisted Council. She was the president. I was the president, y'all. She was fucking shoot up. <laughs> I was the best president they ever <laughs> had. They ever had. They ain't had nobody as good as me after I left. The thing went down after you left, mm -hmm. remember? They, they couldn't even keep it up and going. Mm -hmm. But. That's how you let them. Them bitches still They're feeling cheese man. <laughs> I just thought, you know. I told you they are the truth. Hey, you gotta bring our cranberries over. In case y'all wondering why I'm, me and Julissa got a variety of food it's because we didn't really decide what we wanted and we wanted a little bit of everything that we have right here mm -hmm. so that's why we got so much food and oh i think he got it no we don't different kinds so like Teresa said we started talking um in a no, we no we didn't no, no we didn't we didn't uh -huh. start talking actually we are both very opinionated and very outspoken so at the meeting she was talking, and I think I had asked a question. I don't remember exactly what I said, but I think I had asked a question. I'm gonna put mine in here. That's fine. I think I had asked a question, and she answered it. And I think it was just like, and I think I was like, damn, bitch, you didn't have to say all that. And she was like, well, bitch, you ain't have to hear all that. <laughs> and I was like, I like her. I like her. Everybody thought it was just gonna be a big old argument in the meeting, but it wasn't. It was just like, she said what she said, and I said what I said, and we've been friends ever since then. And I remember when I had my baby, she was the first person to take me out afterwards. And I hadn't drank in so long because my husband was deployed. 
She was the first person to take me out when I had got so drunk and I broke my shoe in the middle of the dance floor. <laughs> And I had to wear Crocs all night because I couldn't ruin everybody else tonight. But I remember when Jaleesa, because I used to hang with these other girls in the unit. And Jaleesa told me, like, when we became friends, that she would ask this guy in the unit about us. Because we went to the bowling alley one day for a JC event. Mm -hmm. And we was going out that night. And she was contemplating going out with us, but the guy had told her that we was lame. And was lame. And that, don't go out with us. So she never did go out with us that mm -hmm. night. So she let that guy pass judgment on us and she went with it. I didn't know no better because I was a I was I think I was the only female soldier at my clinic. Bail, he got it. Wait, I don't think the thing is the thing is still on though, right? Zena is up. Is the thing still on? Mm-hmm. Hey, don't put that ball in No, we don't. Yeah, the thing's still on. Okay. <laughs> been humping, humping, humping. Sorry for the distraction. But y'all we have to run out and check on her dog because like we said her dog is in heat. And if you watch my previous my previous vlog, you'll know that um most, I got Carter from Jalisa and Carter's brother and mama is still here. So being that she in heat, he don't really know no better, but he's trying to hump her. And you know that would not be a good mix. No, because we can't have that around here. Yeah. At all. And I don't, uh -uh, can't do And And Jaleesa ain't about to breed nothing, nothing else no more. Mm mm. I don't have time for that. But. I was the only female soldier at my clinic. And so. It's fine. We watching them. So I didn't really know a lot of females from the unit. And so when they would want me to hang out, they would want me to hang out with them. And they would just say all these bad nasty things about the girls in the unit. But you know, that's how the army do. That's just how the army is, period. It's just like a bigger version of high school. Mm -hmm. It's really ridiculous. So that's um, kind of like how we met. And we've been inseparable since then. We don't have like a lot of friends come and go mm -hmm. in between our friendship or whatever. But nobody lasts with us. So... We're the last one standing. And if y'all don't know, Jaleesa is a, a Scorpio and I'm a Pisces. That's probably why we get along so well. But I love her so much. I love her so much too because she's so outspoken. And she say what she got to say and she keep it moving. She not about to harp on nothing. She not about, unless you know, like, it's something. She don't harp on nothing with me because we just said we got to say we mm -hmm. keep it moving. She do that with everybody, but other people, they take things too personal, too serious. And when you say something to them, they get in their feelings. It's not to hurt people by any means, but it's just to let you know, like, hey, you can't say this. You can't do this. It's wrong. Da, 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 da. Some people don't know how to take that and they get mad. Mm -hmm. And so they try to say, oh, well, this person this and this person that. We just keep it moving. You say what you got to say about us. We have our little words, and we just keep it moving. It's, it, it don't take all that extra energy. It really don't. We don't have time for negative energy or bad vibes. It's 20 motherfucking 19. So being that we're talking about how we met, we're going to talk about friendship. And how a friendship is supposed to be. And things that we have seen with friends that we thought was our friends, mm -hmm. but they really wasn't our friends. But sometimes... You try to give people the benefit of the doubt because it's Crystal Little Burger. I, I, mm -hmm. this chicken was good. Hmm? Oh, the table in there. What are we? Right, mm. So sorry, y'all. Did they say to go put the dogs up because it they were just doing too much, y'all. It's hard to control dogs when somebody's in heat, so it's only so much you could do. Or men in general. Because <laughs> just think about it. He wouldn't even eat. I couldn't even get him to eat all day because he was trying to go behind and hunt. Foolish. <laughs> <clears throat> so, like I said, we was about to talk about friendships. And I was going to tell y'all that. I want to tell y'all this. If y'all got a lot of friends, 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 90% of those people aren't your real friend. It's not. Because, how do you... Why do you even want all them friends? Like, how do you keep up with 
the deepest darkest secrets the most interpersonal moments like how can you keep up with all that or how do you know that if you had that many friends who who do you know has your best interests at heart are you really getting to know all those people or you just like these other people around here to just call everybody friend and they're really not friends at all and then with like having a lot of friends too to um piggyback off what she said <clears throat> It's really hard for you to trust each and every one of them because you did say that me and Jaleesa was friends, but then we had a mutual friend, and it seemed like we was really friends, and I'm talking to that mutual friend. And that mutual friend more than likely gonna either try to sabotage me and Jaleesa's friendship because she would think that me and her are too close, or because you have jealous friends out there like that. They would think that y'all too close, and then you will talk to them about some stuff. And maybe it'll be something that I haven't told Jaleesa yet, but I'm going to tell her eventually. And before I can even tell Jaleesa, she already telling her and talking shit about me and stuff like that. That's not a real friend at the end of the day. So, y'all got to watch y'all friends. Y'all got to stop calling everybody y'all friends if that's what y'all doing. Because a friend for one, they need to want you to succeed as well as you need to want them to succeed as well. Like, that goes both ways. Um... I'm not saying you gotta talk to your friend every day because me and Jaleesa go with, go weeks without talking. Because we got a life, we got stuff to do. And if y'all don't know, me and Jaleesa in the military, so mm -hmm. that's like a lot in itself. Jaleesa has a family, so of course I'm not gonna be able to talk to her all day. But when I need to talk to her, she makes sure she's always there to talk to me. Like, that's what happens. That She's my only friend, so. She's my only friend, too, like for real, for it. I know y'all probably gonna be like, oh, y'all just say that just to say that. No, literally. She's my only friend. I do not talk to a lot of people. I just find it's better for me, energy. I'm real big on vibes and energy. And I'm just not one of those people that's real big going around calling everybody my friend because a friend is different. A friend should be more like family, like a real friend should be more like family. Y'all should be able to talk about any and mm -hmm. everything. No secrets, no none of that stuff. It's almost like a, a marriage, so mm -hmm. to speak, you know? Cause you should have transparency and all that stuff in your friendship and just like you said we don't talk every day but whenever we do talk we pick it up like we never love like we never love it's never no bad blood never no bad energy it's never none of that i was telling Portia, i was just like you know the funny thing is out of my life i'm 31 years old and i joined the army at 17 like out of all the people that i've had like meaningful relationships with they have always been a pisces a pisces or a scorpio Mainly more so a Pisces. I just don't know what it is about them people mm -hmm. or why we get along so well. But it just works. It just meshed together like butter and mashed potatoes, grits, and fish. <laughs> <laughs> you had to give all them a nap. <laughs> <clears throat> and then y'all know how y'all had these friends. I just done told your deepest, darkest, deepest, darkest secrets too. And then y'all fall out and everybody know your deepest, darkest everybody. secrets. And then you be dumb enough to be their friend again. Honey. Mm. Your friend, no matter what y'all go through. If me and Jaleesa fell out tomorrow, we just have fall out tomorrow. Yeah. But nobody will really know that we fell out. Nobody will really know what we done talked about over all these gears and stuff like that. Because that ain't nobody business. And if you do that, then you never value that friendship. It's a trifling individual mm -hmm. period you never value that that friendship because if your friendship anything like me and Jaleesa friendship we talk about a lot of stuff personal stuff and you know we get deep like real real deep and she's confiding to me and me vice versa so I'm trusting her with my information that I'm giving her so if I'm just telling her that means nobody don't need to know because if I want everybody to know I just tell Facebook because okay. everybody on Facebook or your blog Oh yeah, tell y'all. It's just different strokes for different folks. I just ask, like, I just want y'all to just be wise of your verbiage or just watch how you use it. Y'all be walking around saying, my friend is sis, this, brother, this, yeah. da, 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 da. And then y'all don't even know the meaning behind that. Like, a lot of people really don't know the meaning behind it. But now we're growing up in this century or whatever. Everybody swear they real. Mm -hmm. They don't even know the definition of being real. Mm -hmm. At all. All thing that I just always tell my friends is, I don't engage in illegal activities because if we go to jail, I'm telling. I'm gonna tell. I just wanna let you know. <laughs> I just wanna let you know up front, friend. We go to jail, 
Unless it's for like <laughs> popping tires. <laughs> but if it's on serious, I'm telling. <laughs> she already told me that a long time ago. Jaleesa is not about to go to jail for no effing body. You hear me? No body. Y'all be watching them jail shows on Netflix? I can't do that. I won't make it. I don't want to go to jail either. I can't go to jail. That's why I don't see how some females be taking, what you call it? They man charges? Yeah. Girl. Be taking the charges for they man. I mean, that's should do by all means, honey. I ain't going to judge you, but I'm just saying, I'm just not going to do that at the end of the day because guess what? He ain't going to be loyal to you. You know, took all them charges. Well, now that team, he not going to worry about you. He going to be out there living his free life. Y'all see how that man did cooking on Empire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He took care of that after she got out, though. After she got out. He took a lot, though. Mm-mm. I would never. Ew. So, y'all just got to be careful out here because it's really crazy. And friends or people in general are really grimy. They sneaky. You got friends out here killing friends because they jealous. Like, you really just have to be careful that. You got one or two friends, that's all you need. That's really real. For real, for real. I remember that story happened when that little girl went missing at that party or her friends had her on that FaceTime. And they were supposed to be her friends and she was, mm -mm. People? Mm -mm. No. People are crazy. It's crazy. Like, if, trust me. If me and Jaleesa go out somewhere, Jaleesa gonna watch me <laughs> and I'm <laughs> And I'm gonna wash her. We barely go to the bathroom without each other. I'm to tell you. So, it ain't that. Oh, I'm about to go home with such and such. No, you ain't. You came here with me. You about to come to the house. And that's gonna be that. That's how Jaleesa is with me. Because Jaleesa's married, so I'm not saying she be doing anything. But that's how Jaleesa be with me or whatever. It ain't none of that stuff. Because these people out here, they out here um, selling people organs. You're going home with these crazy folks. You ain't never gonna come back. Putting you in the human trafficking. Yeah. You ain't never gonna come back. <clears throat> Ever. So if your friend lets you go with a random man, honey, mm -mm, I don't care what nobody say. I ain't your friend. You grown, but at the end of the day, you gotta be more smart than that. Cause I ain't let nobody go. You wanna go? Okay, well you roll with me after you shoot, after you do that, then that's really on you. But we gonna leave together. Mm-mm. Then if y'all do do that, take pictures. Send addresses. Cause send that's what addresses. I used to do. I used to send addresses like, I'm going over here. And if you don't hear from me by such and such, then you better call the police. Exactly. <laughs> do all that. Seriously. I even do that with my husband. Like if I'm going out with some co-workers and stuff. Notice I said co-workers. If I'm going out with some co-workers and stuff. When I get a bad vibe or bad energy. I send my husband pictures mm -hmm. and I let him know where we at. Just in case he got to come get me or help me. Mm -hmm. He know how to point to in the right direction. And then had evidence of the people she was with, honey, cause I'm telling you, people crazy, y'all. But I know Jaleesa got my back and she know I got her back. Period. Period. Why they put a T on it? Period. 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 Bitch, I spit all in the butter. Mmm, 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 mmm. the funnel cake fries good? I never had them before. I just always wanted to try them, and I felt like today would be a good day to try them. Yeah, they good. But the best thing, I told you. Y'all, these bitter cheese steak fries, they busting. They like the best thing on the table for me. They so good. Mm. Like, really, really, really good. But I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all. So y'all can meet my best friend and we can talk to y'all a little bit about friendship and the importance of it because it's really important out here in these streets, okay? Period. I hope you guys enjoy our video and you guys will be seeing Jaleesa later in the near future because I got to go back to California so I won't see her for a while. But I'm glad you got a chance to meet her. You want to say bye to the camera, Kayla? Come here, Katie. Come right here. Come in the middle. Put both your feet right here. You been touching a frog? Mm -hmm. This is Delisa's son, Kaden. Say hi, 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 Kaden.
Still up there. Oh, you got it? You up there? There you go. There we go. Jalissa Sons Caden, and hopefully one day he will be starting his YouTube channel. He is a very educated little boy, and he is only six years old. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> That's all you gotta say? Tell them the names of your frogs. Um, Jiffy and Rocco. Jiffy and Rocco. He got two pet frogs, and he named them Jiffy and Rocco. And he said he had a great day at school today. You wanna tell him bye? Bye. Say see you later. See you later. All right. <laughs> so like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you guys next time. Make sure you guys go watch my videos before this if you haven't seen it and catch up. Bye y'all.